Cosmic Eclipse singles are still super low, but they may be on uptick. And if you've never pre-ordered sets in advance, uh, now may be the time to do so. What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and welcome to Pokemart, uh, the series where we kind of look at the secondary market for things like singles and stuff in the TCG. Uh, it's one of my favorite series to do, actually, so we're going to jump right into it. We're starting with, there is a eBay Bucks promotion going on. Go to ebay.com, see if you qualify, and it's a for a whopping 10%. That is really good. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, anytime you can get 10% back for anything, that is amazing, and... Um, there is one thing that I think everyone should strongly consider, and that is pre-ordering the set Sword and Shield, which doesn't come out till February. That's super long. Um, however, it's hard to ignore this. I don't know. Dream Joe must be a distributor or something, but he's go has them up for $74.99 before uh, any discount or any cash back so if you get you know if we were to basically let's just say that eliminates tax so you know just under $75 per box if you pre-order it now with the eBay bucks um, I have ordered from Dream Joy before I didn't get it on release day I got it like shortly after which is kind of be expected they make it pretty clear that they will ship on release day so you don't you won't get it that Friday that's that's a hundred percent certain and, um, but other than that, I didn't really have any issues with this vendor. Um, yeah, it's awkward to basically put your money down like three months in advance, but I highly doubt it would ever be cheaper. Um, you know, before tax, that's like less than $70. Uh, on release day for other vendors, it's like $90 is actually pretty good. So, you know, I, I strongly recommend you at least consider it, especially if you have the eBay bucks offer. All right, so tournament results are starting to come in. There was an international tournament in Sao, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and interesting results. There were not many, actually, I don't see Malamar. Uh, someone kind of brought this up to my attention on stream, and uh, yeah, I don't see, oh, here's a, wait. Uh, here's a Malamar in 25th place, oh my. So yeah, maybe our predictions were not exactly accurate. Uh, Rishizar took the top, followed by Mewtwo, and then ADP. And let's just take a look. Uh, so the interesting thing to note here is how many cards in these lists were from Cosmic Eclipse. And then we'll try to find any correlation with the secondary market, and maybe things are just slow to react. We only have one Lopany. Not surprising that's basically a one-of for very specific matchups. And as far as the this the the, the deck that took first place, I don't really see any Cosmic Eclipse stuff. Uh, moving on to the Mewtwo list, I think there was only a couple in the, once again, Megalopony seems to be a one of in a lot of things. And then we have the Tag Calls, not surprising, Guzman Hala, and then Malo and Lana. Malo and Lana is performing way better than I thought it would. Uh, Cynthia Caitlin, not a surprise. That card's really good, but probably not a four of in any situation. And lastly, ADP will have the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, so. Um, you know, that one obviously is relevant. Uh, Drampa, Fion, just one ofs. And then we do have some, I think this one had Ricky. Yeah, two great catchers and then two Cynthia Caitlin's, two tag calls. Uh, so definitely on the trainer side, obviously there are the very cheap options. Um, but then even for the GXs, like, actually, we'll take a look at how ex inexpensive these cards are right now. But my thought is, as these results continue to come in, if it, they are like the GXs and stuff like that, and people want to swag out their decks, I wonder if the prices will start to see an uptick just because they are shockingly low. Let's take a look at TCG player. All right, so Rishi Charizard breaks in at the top of the list, $60. I feel like almost always there is one card that is at that $100 mark. So for um, Unbroken Bonds, obviously Rishi Zard, which was actually 200. And then um, Unified Minds, the Mewtwo Mew was at like, the Rainbow one was at $100 for quite some time. And then this one, you know, this thing, I feel like this set is breaking the mold in a lot of ways and in a very positive way as far as picking up cheap signals, even if you want to swag out your deck with the max rarities. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, Charizard breaks in at the top, not a big surprise. I wonder if this is just the Charizard effect though, meaning like this thing will ultimately come down. Uh, I didn't see it in the top 10. 
Um, so ultimately, I see this thing following, you know, the same path as Reshizard, which did take first place too. Um, especially with the box that's going to come out in the near future, featuring the alternate art version of this. Well, basically, I think that 60 is only is destined to like half be halved in the near future. Cynthia Caitlin, uh, such a strong card. I imagine this will be viable for a long time. Uh, so that 43 is not that surprising. And then ADP, you know, for the probably like the most prominent, the most successful GX in this set for the max rarity to be under $30, I think it's very interesting. It's very cheap. Uh, Rishi Ram for the Rainbow Alt Art is coming in at 25. And then from there, things just continue to go down. Malalan, again, performing pretty well. Uh, I was expecting. And then um, these things I'm kind of keeping my eyes on as far as ones that you think will have long-term viability. Ones that jump out to me, Tag Call. I think you have tag teams, even the supporters, they'll definitely need Tag Calls. Uh, this 20, less than 20 sounds super low to me. Um, Giant Hearth obviously still has a place with all the, any deck that runs Fire. And Great Catcher, another thing as, as long as it's not, the meta is not swamped with non-GXs, like Great Catcher just feels so powerful. You know, when you run Lily, when you run Cynthia, you know, getting to six cards in your hand um, after discard is trivial. So Great Catcher just sounds like such a win. Uh, and then from there, uh, we kind of start going into the stuff that's less surprising. You know, you just have a lot of support. Uh, Red and Blue, although Red and Blue does seem pretty good still in this meta. Switching over to eBay real quick, just to see if things are consistent. Charizard breaks in. Uh, so this is if you on the buy it now. And so it seems like... Uh, it's actually a little bit more expensive on eBay right now, so it's kind of looking closer to that $100 mark, uh, kind of like what we would expect it, but every once in a while there is something like 70 um, Don't see much in the line of 60s, but if we go to sold listings, man, things are kind of all over the place. Every once in a while you see one that after shipping, yeah, the 60s seems about right, a 55 every once in a while, but um, yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to go down. Unless like this this uh, card becomes really prominent really soon, really fast, um, I just see this kind of like falling over on itself. All right, let's switch to Hidden Fates. Charizard is still showing strong, hovering around that 250. Um, I wonder if it'll be here for some time and then eventually get closer to that 200 mark. And then Cynthia is still holding strong. Um, Cynthia will be relevant until it rotates out. I feel like it's kind of like the Lele effect. Um, until the day it rotates out of standard, then maybe it'll go down. But until then, holding strong, and reminder, there's two printings of this. Two different arts, but there's two full art versions. One in Ultra Prism as well. And then from there, uh, basically these things have become a bit stagnant. I kind of see these going down only slowly. Uh, you know, the super duper premium collection box just dropped, or is dropping Friday. Uh, so maybe that influx will kind of affect these a little bit, but I doubt very much. Switching over to eBay, if you want to pick up a Shining Charizard right now, yeah, that 250, uh, let's see. I feel like 250 would probably be the floor for buy it now. And then every once in a while, you'll see something closer to 200 probably get picked up right away. And then auction will obviously be a little bit cheaper. But let's go to sold listings. And okay, less than, or something under 300, 250 seems about right. I think every, yeah, so every once in a while, one of these will sneak past. And it's kind of hard to catch. Unless you're paying super close attention, I doubt these will last long. But you know, there's a couple, couple opportunities out there. Uh, again, my long, long, uh, long-term prediction is this thing will hover around 200. Let's go to Cynthia. Uh, a little bit cheaper on eBay. It looks like you can probably pick them up for inside a third, out, under 40 at this point, if you're careful and if you're lucky. Um, although, like, yeah, I'm not. I feel like this is about right. I'd be surprised if it got any higher or lower anytime soon. Um, so there is one card that I do want to hit that's uh, very interesting. It's one of those products that came out and is like, hey, here's a new promo. It's kind of a one-off. It's not part of any set. Um, and usually they're just bad, so it's not really relevant. But every once in a while, there's a good one. And that is the Trevenant Dust Noir GX. So this thing MSRPs at, you know, you can just go walk to Target, walk to Walmart, and pick one up for $20. And this card just has so much potential with the Mischievous into Miss Magius into Reset Stamp into 
a beast ring <laughs> into tag call for something and then you can tag switch to Trevor and Dust Noir um, I've been trying to make that work but struggling but uh, that deck is actually really strong if you can pull off that combo I feel like it's GG after one turn but uh, and the price seems to reflect this so for a promo uh, this thing is still on TCG player for just under ten dollars so that's half the price of the box and eBay is kind of following that logic uh, someone recently sold a 4 of for 40 even the online card is still going for just like around six bucks um, so that means that let's say you know if we break down the uh, how much that box is worth so $20 to pick it up guaranteed like um, and then the promo itself is going for like nine the online card Sorry about that, I got a phone call. But yeah, so the promo itself could be sold for like nine, the online card for six, that's 15. Uh, and then there's like four packs in there. So just so much value. I actually picked up a bunch, a few more of those, um, but I, for to try to build this deck and you know, if it doesn't work out, if I end up don't liking it, you know, I feel like I can get a majority of my money back if I were to sell these on the secondary market where the code card and the promo itself. Um, so I just want to bubble that up. I feel like it's very rare when that kind of thing happens and there's enough value in some of these products. The only one, the other one that comes to mind is like the Ultra Necrozm Battle Arena deck. That thing was just so packed with so much value uh, with those two Jirachis. Just the two Jirachis, that's it. That's all you need needed and that's like your $20 right there. Um, so yeah, pretty quick episode. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, this Cosmic Eclipse, you know, for a set that I actually really like. I'm a big fan of the secret rares, a big fan of the new mechanics, and I just love a lot of the cards. The single price is just so low. Um, yeah, as far as reasons why, you know, cup reading through comments like, oh yeah, maybe just a hidden fates wall fatigue. Uh, maybe it's increased pull rates, you know, performance in tournaments. But again, like, the tournament results are starting to come in and is not, uh, you know, non-GX as I thought it would be. So maybe this would cause prices, at least for Cosmic Clip stuff, to start to rise in the near future. Um, so if you're one of the people that likes to swag out their decks, maybe now's the time, especially if you can get that EBA 10% off. There was recently a TCG player 7% back. Uh, so if those, uh, you know, before those prices potentially start to uptick maybe now is the time to grab some and um so that's it for today's episode as always let me know what your thoughts are down below if there's a topic you would like to see covered on pokemon just let me know and uh yeah as always guys thanks for watching i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time